My name is Alfredo Quinones Hinojosa. I am a rare breed of a brain surgeon and a scientist in trying to find cures for treating patients for brain cancer. Okay, show me what you got, Kayla. Okay, in red we have yeah, the red. Titus Peloton with the Phalloidin. 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 Yeah. And then, because I see the same right here, what is in green? Like I didn't grow up with money. I came from very humble beginnings. My parents didn't have an education. They never went to school. You know, I started working when I was five years old in a gas station outside of Mexicali. And I used to pump gas in the afternoon, go to school in the morning, and I was just so filled of questions. When I was 19 years old, I decided that I wanted a better life for myself, for my parents, for my siblings. I stayed there for about two days and, you know, hungry, sleeping on the benches. And then I was finally picked up by a relative that brought me up to the San Joaquin Valley where I began to work as a migrant farm worker. I was 19 years old. I love what I did with my hands. I love what I did with the fields, but what did not settle well with me was to believe that there was a hard decree, that that was it, that that's what I was gonna do for the rest of my life. People ask me, how do you get into Harvard? Well, the first challenge that you have to overcome is that you have to apply. Now, it sounds simple, but to apply to such a school, somewhere you have to have the belief that there is something about you that can achieve this. And it's not arrogance. We all have arrogance, I do. It's not about arrogance, it's about having the belief and having the support and having the help. <laughs> Stem cells that we get from fat have the ability to fight cancer. That shows that we can, char we can uh, uh, load them with a protein that makes cancer cells become less aggressive. It disarms the cancer cells. It disarms them from their ability to migrate and move in the brain. Dr. Q is really interested in looking at new types of paradigms and new types of unorthodox solutions to problems and challenges. And, and so that's the kind of thing that I'm really excited about too. And so we're embarking on that together. I think this, this kind of character he has uh, goes back to when he was young. You know, the, the feeling that if you wanted to have a better life and to try something where others would say, oh, you can't do that, or that's not the sort of standard road to do this, that he just broke down walls or jumped over them and, and had this persistence. And I think that persistence really enables one to, to see new things and, and to try new things and make, make great discoveries. And so to have that sort of enthusiasm and passion for the patients and for the science to, to work together in that environment is just wonderful. Somebody here. I never saw the light at the end of the tunnel. I imagined that light. I allow my brain to explore and imagine things. And up until the present, when I work in brain cancer and people tell me you can't find a cure for brain cancer, I don't know what that cure is. I just imagine what the cure is going to be and I keep working towards that goal. So I don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I allow my brain to imagine that light.
Last year, Dr. Q and his team from Baltimore took their fourth trip to Mexico to provide medical aid to people in need. Working alongside doctors in Guadalajara, they administered neurosurgical care to patients free of charge. We'd love to have your input, so if you know someone who's helping change the world, drop us a line at an at cctv-america.com or tweet us at cctv underscore America and tell us about a game changer you'd like to see on America's Now. America's Now.